We love you, our God and our Father. Be exalted, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus. your son is available and cleanses us from all unrighteousness and there is mercy with you we give you praise we give you glory we exalt your name you are high and lifted up there is no God like you you are indeed our father we hallow your name our father Lord we are here to pray the prayers that is on your heart. Lord God, we are here, O oh God, to pray, O oh God, according to your divine will and according to your divine purpose. Holy Spirit, we yield ourselves to you. We yield our spirit, soul, and body. We yield our emotions. We yield everything as we come, O oh God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Thanking you because, Lord, you are a good father. You are faithful. Lord, your mercy endures forever. Your love is eternal. Lord, it is unstoppable. Your love is relentless. Lord God, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. Lord, we continue to pray for restoration of our city. Lord God, with all this devastation and all this, Lord God, that is going on, not only for our city, but we use our city as a point of contact concerning other cities that are devastated like this, oh God, in the United States, in the Bahamas, Lord God, in the, in the, in the Caribbean, Father, Lord God, cities that has has been destroyed lives that have been destroyed lord homes that have been destroyed oh god father we come to pray for restoration because you are the restorer you are the one that is able to restore that which the enemy has destroyed that which the canker worm has destroyed that which the palmer worm has destroyed that which armor and harvey have destroyed you are restorer father we thank you hallelujah lord isaiah 61 verse 4 isaiah 61 verse 4 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Isaiah 61, verse 4, you say, and they shall rebuild the old ruins. They shall raise up the former desolations. And they shall repair the ruined, the ruined cities. 
the desolation of many generations. Lord, when you are talking about day here, you're talking about your body. You're talking about the church. You're talking about the people, oh God. Because you have put in us your spirit, the spirit of the restorer, the spirit of the rebuilders. Father, therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, O oh God, that every ruin around us, O oh God, Lord God, there will be a rebuilding. Let there be a rebuilding. Your people will rebuild again. Our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, you will give, O oh God, that you know the the, the 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 finances you will provide, Lord God, that that, that spiritual, Lord God, uh, um, that that the spiritual components uh, and lord the things oh god that we need to rebuild oh god that lives will be rebuilt again lord god people who are devastated oh god families oh god that have uh, that have gone through loss oh god our lord spiritually they are devastated spiritually oh god father we pray that there will come a rebuilding first and formal the spiritual aspect of lives oh god let there be a rebuilding oh god let there be a restoration oh god lord in the name of the lord jesus christ we pray oh god that the holy spirit oh god will help the church oh god lord to rebuild lives oh god will give us the words lord uh, uh, the, the words to, to, to minister, oh God. I pray for the pastors, oh God, that you will help them, oh God. You will give them, oh God, the tools. That is the word I'm looking for. The tools to rebuild. Ah, Lord God, there are spiritual tools that are needed at this time to rebuild lives, oh God, to rebuild careers, to rebuild families, O oh God, to rebuild homes, to rebuild the school, the educational system, O oh God. Lord God, I pray that you will, you have given us, the church, the tools, O oh God, to rebuild, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And with that, those tools, O oh God, we will rebuild the old ruins, O oh God. There are old ruins, O oh God. There are are ruins that are that have been in place before have came lord there are lives that have that are in shamble there are homes that are in shamble lord god there are families that are in shambles oh god there are old ruins that needs to be rebuilt our father we are looking at the physical but father you want to start with the spiritual in the spirit ritual oh god because when lives are rebuilt spiritually lord there is hope to rebuild oh god the physical therefore lord god in the name of the lord jesus christ holy ghost you are the rebuilder you are the restorer you are the one oh god that is able oh god to rebuild. Lord, we look at the book of Nehemiah. Lord God, when Nehemiah heard about what was happening in Jerusalem, how the Jerusalem has been burnt and the gates and everything, the walls of Jerusalem is down. Our Father, the Bible says that Nehemiah he had to had to had to go to the king to to ask of the king permission to go back the bible says that this man 
Lord God, he wept. He wept. He wept. And he, he, he fasted many days. Father, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, oh God, that you will give us, oh God, in the city, the church, oh God. Our Lord God, give us tears again, oh Lord. Our Lord God, give us tears again, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, to cry out to you for the for the for the for the rebuilding of the people of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the psalmist says, and I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Our Father, Lord God, as the church is crying unto you, O God, concerning this desolation, concerning this ruin. O oh God, hear us, O oh God, and answer speedily. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the old ruins be, built, uh, be, be, be rebuilt again in the name of Jesus. Let lives be rebuilt again, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the power of the Word of God, the Word of comfort, the Word of salvation, the Word of God that is able to save and to deliver, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the word of God will go swiftly into the city, oh God, into every nook and corners, that the word of God that is able to save, the word of God that is able to deliver, the word of God that is able to bring men and women out of the darkness and the dungeon of sin and unrighteousness in the name of Jesus Christ that your word will run swiftly at this time in the city oh God that is one of the tools oh God that you are going to use to rebuild oh God to restore oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God, we pray, O oh God, that the word of God will be strong and powerful, O oh God. At this time, O oh God, Lord God, in the mouth of your people, O oh God, Lord, as we go around, O oh God, helping, O oh God, bringing word of comfort, bringing word of consolation, O oh God, that the word of God will be strong it will be powerful in the name of the lord jesus christ the word of god that is able to build will build the people will build their confidence in you will build their hope in you lord in the name of the lord jesus christ our ah, lord god that the word of god will give courage oh god will bring peace to the people of god we bring peace, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your word of God, the word of God spoken at this time, oh God, will help the people, oh God, will bring shalom to them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we pray, oh God, you say they shall raise up the former desolation. Lord God, let every desolation, oh God, raise up, oh God, raise up, oh God, desolations, oh God. Lord God, at this time, oh God, families that are not seen eye to eye, husbands and wives that are not talking before this came, oh God, Lord God, families that are going through shakings and divorce and all manner of things, all manner of challenges, oh God. In the name of Jesus, on account of this, oh God, raise up, oh God. Raise up, oh God. Raise up this family, oh God, to come together in unity and oneness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, repair, oh God, the ruins, oh God, in those families, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, Lord God, I pray that the ruins will be, will be, will be, will be rebuilt, oh God. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you, oh God. You are the repairer of the bridge, oh God. Lord God, repair every breach, every breach of the enemy, every breach in the family, every breach in the in the in the home, oh in homes, oh God, in lives, oh God. Repair those breaches, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, that the church, oh God, we are the repairers of the breach. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, do it, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, God, Father, Lord God, instead of, your, of their shame, oh God, I pray that they will receive honor at all these people, oh God, who are going through right now, oh God. Ah, Lord God, you are the one that is there with them. You say, even though we go through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil because you are with us Lord I want I, I pray that you will you will cause them to know that you are Jehovah Shammah you are there with them that you are going through oh God our Lord God that this is not their final destination that out of this oh God you are bringing beauty for ashes oh God that you are bringing double honor oh God unto them in Instead of shame, oh God, Lord, you will bring honor. In the name of Jesus, out of this darkness, let light shine forth. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, out of this confusion, oh God, let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in hope, oh God. The hope in you, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, out of this, oh God, many will begin to search for answers. Many who don't know you in the city, oh God, and in the cities where there are desolations, oh God. Lord, out of this, oh God, there will arise questions and that you will be the answer you will provide the answer you will be the answer Jesus you are the answer for the world today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Ah, Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, restore, restore, restore lives, oh God, restore families, oh God, restore, oh God, homes, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray for restoration in the spiritual and let it affect the the physical in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ restore souls back unto you oh God that is why you came Jesus you came to restore us back to our father you came to restore us back to the love of our father our Lord God let that restoration begin in our city Lord, amongst those who don't know you, O oh God, who have not, who, who does not know the love of Christ yet, O oh God. Lord God, do it, O oh God. Restore souls unto you, O oh God. Our Lord God, the Hindus, restore them, O oh God. The, 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 the Muslims, the agnostics, Lord God, the atheist, Lord God, all this group, oh God, we cry out for the salvation of their souls. We cry out for their restoration back to you, oh God. Ah, Lord, that is what you came to do. You came to seek and to save that which was lost. Oh God, restore Restore, restore, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let revival, Lord, let revival break out. Let community awakening break out, oh God. 
in the city and the cities, oh God, that are affected by the storm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord God, we thank you. We thank you because, Lord God, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. We pray that the joy of the Lord will arise in the heart of the people of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that through their tears they will see hope, O oh God. They will see the Son of Righteousness arising, Lord God, from the horizon with healing in His wings. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you hallelujah. Yes, Lord God, through this, O oh God, I pray for the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of you, O oh God. Our Lord God, all over the city, the spirit of wisdom the spirit of knowledge of who you are, the spirit of revelation that Christ will be unveiled. Lord God, in this time and in this season, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that many will come to the saving knowledge of Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, oh God, Lord, we pray for that over our city, oh God, over every every home over every 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 business oh god over the schools lord god over lord god our educational system over oh god the commerce in this city oh god in the name of jesus christ thank you father lord god blessed be your holy name father in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. We bless you because you are the restorer. Restore, O oh God. Restore your people. Restore the church. Restore the body of Christ. That we will be who you have called us to be. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, we end the Omanai Supron Drivieli Bene, that Enzo Supruvi Ontaria Lamane Fidigastos. Ah, my father, my Uma is in a osa, nai in the Fidia Lanos, Merana Omane, Oraria Mai Monsavine, Jefine, Zene Untanonsa, Untanonsa, Tanonsa. Tanonsa, Tanonsa, Lord. Meo uma anzanamane embriolonos invesu privilicanos. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes. Just pray in the spirit with me if you can. Mini tarabano, saria elegadanos, enje fevregedosa, bi alusa vraliosa. Me o mana imanos in taria la banai mao bele vevrigastos. O fidri o le bene zisions amphidia calabayanos. In the name of Jesus, we say, Do it, Lord God. In our days, do it, O God. Let that light shine, O God. Let that light shine, O God. 
in a way that the darkness cannot comprehend it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, oh God, uh, for the light that the enemy cannot comprehend. Uh, light to light our city. Light that will light our nation. Light that will light our children. That will light our homes. That will light our families. That will light our schools. That will light our politicians. In the corridors of power. Mi obera danai era umana andre je se preve ke buvida non tariosa ombre ne man kun se preve ke de boste me un tana ima e je ima un seki anos mandani oma en su priviganos endro bivi antos ende un je pivi musa va kalandaria amana un brandei be su privi anko privi bili kuvaniosa oh yes lord in the name of jesus Jesus, uh, let it be, Father God. Uh, release it to God. Uh, all over the land, all over West Houston, uh, yes, all over Florida, in every home, in every heart. Me, Mauma, and Sada Lamani, meant to pray Vedele Musu Privikili in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we give you praise, Father. We continue to pray for the restoration of the city in the name of Jesus. For you said they will rebuild. Father, we cry and we say we will rebuild. The body of Christ will rebuild in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we call forth the ministry of the builders in this season in the name of Jesus. Father, we call forth the day that are built. Uh, Father, Lord, there are people who tear down. Uh, Lord, but there are those who are builders. Uh, and Lord, we begin to invite their ministry. We begin to unleash the ministry of the builders. Uh, in West Houston, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, we have turned down long enough. Uh, Lord, we have, we have destroyed long enough. Uh, we declare that it is a season to build. It is a season to rebuild in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, we declare that our schools shall be rebuilt, our families shall be rebuilt, our homes shall be rebuilt, Canyon Gate shall be rebuilt, South Park shall be rebuilt in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, our subdivision shall be rebuilt, the body of Christ shall be rebuilt. You said they will rebuild ah maune umanariana mai eimuna antaria lamane father we declare that a people will rebuild in the name of jesus father we receive grace in this hour to rebuild in the name of jesus again papa we call father we receive grace to rebuild we receive the anointing to rebuild the wisdom to rebuild the skills to rebuild unity to rebuild boldness to rebuild courage to rebuild the fortitude and the attitude with which to rebuild for you said they will rebuild and we declare that Katie will rebuild the church will rebuild in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we will rebuild the ancient ruins and we we will restore the places that have been devastated in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We receive that grace in this hour. We receive that unction with which to function in this hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray for pastors. We pray for ministry leaders in this city, O oh God, and we receive the anointing to rebuild in the name of the Lord Jesus, O oh God. Lord, there are people who are broken down. There are people who are scattered. There are people who feel, who feel disconnected, who feel disjointed, who feel devastated. We receive grace with which to rebuild in the name of Jesus. For you said they will rebuild. 
the ancient ruins and restore the places that are long devastated. Father, we, Lord, there is, there, is, there is current devastation. But Lord, there are devastations that were even long before now. Lord, more, you know, moral issues, oh God. Lord, schools, homes, Father God. Homes that have been long devastated. Father, you said that there will come a newness of grace to bring restoration to those areas of our city that have known long devastation. We receive that grace. We receive that unction. We receive that unction. We receive that anointing to bring restoration to the places that have been long devastated in the name of the Lord Jesus oh God. There will come renewal to ruined cities. Even those ones that have been devastated for generations in the name of the Lord Jesus oh God. Father, we pray for those cities in the natural and in the spiritual that have been devastated for generations. Father, we declare it is a new day. It is a new season. It is a new chapter because we're bringing renewal right now. Lord, we, you talk about rebuilding you talk about restoring, and then you're talking about renewing. Father, we birth all three in the name of Jesus. There will be a rebuilding. There will be restoration. And there will come a renewing in the name of Jesus. We will rebuild the ancient ruins. We will restore the places long devastated. And we will bring renewal to the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bring a halt to that which the enemy has been doing. We bring a halt to that which the enemy has perpetuated for generations. I will declare that the game is over. Your time is up. A people have arisen and they will rebuild. We will rebuild. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name, O God. Hallowed be thy name, Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now come away with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 3. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians chapter 3. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians chapter 3. Glory to God. And we're going to read from verse 14. Even though the, the chalkboard says from verse 16. But let us take it from verse 14. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The King James says, For this cause I bow my knees. The NIV says, for this reason, I bow my knees. The New King James also says, for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Papa, that you will grant unto us in this hour, according to the riches of your glory, that you will, you will cause us to know a strengthening with might through your spirit in the inner man. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for that mother who is discouraged. Father, we pray for that father who is about to give up. We pray for that single woman who has come to the end of her ropes. Father, we pray for that single mama, Lord, who have run out of answers. Father, we pray that you will grant, according to the riches of your glory, that these ones will be strengthened with might through your spirit in the inner man, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 
many of us look right on the outside but we look strong on the outside but there is weakness on the inside today we come to receive strength through your spirit in the inner man in the name of the lord jesus christ we father we receive strength within that will be manifested without in the name of the Lord Jesus, oh God, uh, that, you will, that you will grant according to the riches of your glory, which is plenteous, uh, which is massive, uh, which is boundless, the riches of your glory, that these ones will be strengthened uh, with might through your spirit in the inner man, uh, that Christ will dwell in our hearts by faith. Uh, that we will be rooted, oh God. Huh? Lord, that there will come a there will come a rooting, there, there will come a grounding in love huh? that we will be able to comprehend with all the saints huh? what is the width and the length and the depth and the height huh? that we will know the love of Christ, huh? a love that passes knowledge, that we may be filled with all the fullness of God huh? in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to you. Blessed be thy name, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You want to come pray, sister? Hallelujah. You got a, you got a prayer? Okay. You'll be thinking about it, okay? Amen, okay? Amen. Okay, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now let's go to the next, um, to that next one. We want to pray from Revelations chapter 4, verse 11. Revelations 4, 11. Hallelujah. I've, I've lost my projection. <laughs> Revelations 4, 11. Thank you, Dennis. Precious woman, we love you, Dennis. Dennis Mayfield, hallelujah. Glory to God. Revelations 4 11. Revelations 4, verse 11. Hallelujah. He says, You're worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created. Hallelujah. Go on. By your will they were created, and they have their being. Hallelujah. The King James says, For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things. For thy pleasure they are and were created. Father, we lift up our hands in adoration today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare that thou art worthy, O Lord. You're worthy of everything that we ever give you and more. You're worthy of our time. You're worthy of our attention. You're worthy of our sacrifices. You're worthy of our worship. You're worthy of praise. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, to receive honor and power. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. You created all things for thy pleasure. The Muslims, the Hindus, the traditionalists, the atheists, the Hispanics, the Africans, the African Americans, Asians, Caucasians, black, white, green, red. Thou hast created all things. The trees of the field, the beasts of the field, and even Leviathan in the ocean. Thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. We all are and were created. Father, may we never forget that. In the name of Jesus, that we were created for an audience of one. 
that we were created to worship you. That we were created to know you. We were created to love you. We were created to praise you. In the name of Jesus. For thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, to receive honor, and to receive power. For thou hast created all things for thy pleasure. We all are and were created. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now let's open to the book of James chapter 1, verse 5. Hallelujah. James chapter 1, verse 5. James chapter 1, verse 5. Glory. James 1, 5. Want to pray for heavenly wisdom for government. Want to pray for heavenly wisdom for city, for local authority, for pastors, for praise and worship leaders, for youth ministers. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So the Bible says there, it says, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously. Hallelujah. <laughs> the King James says, who gives liberally. Hallelujah. Sometimes God is a liberal. Amen. <laughs> Some of us don't like to hear that, right? He says he gives liberally. Glory to God. He says if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God. He says, the King James says, let him ask God. Who we'll give it liberally to all. Hallelujah. The NIV says, who we'll gives generously to all without finding fault. And it will be given to you. So, Lord, we pray for those in government. We pray for our mayor. Lord, we pray for, for our, our school superintendent. Lord, we pray for the fire chief. We pray for the chief of police. Lord, we pray for our city council men and women. We pray for wisdom for them. We pray for wisdom for them. In the name of Jesus, we pray for principles and we receive wisdom. Lord, we pray for pastors and we receive wisdom. We pray for the president of this nation. Father, we pray for President Donald Trump and we receive wisdom for him. Wisdom with which to function. Wisdom with which to flow. Wisdom with which to relate. Wisdom with which to lead. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You said if any of you lack wisdom, he should ask God. Who gives liberally, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given. We say, Father, we receive that wisdom. We declare that that wisdom will be given. That wisdom will be given, and it will be received in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be thy name, O God. Now, I want us to pray from Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 1 to 5 which which you know we want to pray for unity in the city and this i will just pray for a couple of minutes and after that i will back off anybody here can pray easily from ephesians chapter 4 from verse 1 to 5 hallelujah but don't feel any pressure if you don't want to come to the microphone that is fine amen but you're released to do so in the name of jesus amen Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 4. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 4. From verse 1 to verse 5. Glory. It says, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, <laughs> beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you were called with all lowliness and gentleness and long-suffering, bearing with one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. For there is one body, there is one Spirit, just as you were called. In one hope of your calling, there is one Lord, there is one faith, there is one baptism. There is one God 
and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Glory to God. I will just back up there and let anyone come up and lead in the name of Jesus. And if you're not led to pray in this way, you can feel free to go into other areas in Jesus' name. be like your fathers and your brothers who were faithless to the Lord God of their fathers so that he made them a desolation as you see. Do not now be stiff-necked as your fathers were but yield yourself to the Lord and come to his sanctuary which he has consecrated forever and serve the Lord your God that his fierce anger may turn away from you. For if you return to the Lord your brothers and your children will find compassion with their captors and return to the land. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn away his face from you if you return to him. Um, let me um, skip verse 10 and 11 and let me read uh, verse 12. The hand of God was also on Judah to give them one heart to do what the king and the princes commanded by the word of the Lord. The hand of the Lord was on Judah to give them one heart to do what the king and the princes commanded by the word of the Lord by the word of the Lord. Father, we, 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 we thank you, O God, because truly, revival is your heartbeat. Revival is not something that somebody cooked up. It's not, it wasn't cooked up by a man. Father Lord, when King Ezekiah came to the throne, Israel had known apostasy for over 80 years. Lord, King after king before him went into such evil that you turned your face away from your chosen people from your covenant people but this man showed up and you put in his heart to bring revival and reformation to bring your people back to him and therefore from the very first day he came to the throne that was what was his heart desire that was his passion that your people will return to you Lord oh God he forgot about wars he forgot about getting wealth he but that your people will return to you our father and our God that is the cry of your church in our city Lord, for years and years and years. And Lord, we have not given up. We are still praying. We are still seeking because we are persuaded that you gave us this desire. 
you put this desire in our heart to cry out unto you that your people will return to you. <clears throat> oh God, therefore even in this season, even in this season of devastation, even in this season of trouble, Lord, oh God, we come to you, oh God, that once again, because we have just read again that you, our God, our Lord, that you are gracious and you are merciful. Lord, you are willing and well able and faithful to turn the hearts of your people back to you. Therefore, Lord, if you did it in the time of King Hezekiah, my Lord and my God, Lord, you are willing to do it again. Therefore, we cry out unto you, O God, that Lord, you will turn, you will turn, Lord, to your people. You will turn to our city and you will turn the heart of every man, every woman, every boy, every girl in this city to you. Lord, oh God, because you are faithful, because that is your heart desire, that we return to you, that we might be healed. Therefore, touch every heart. Did you not say the hearts of kings are in your hands? If the hearts, oh God, of kings are in your hands, how much more the hands of mere men. Therefore, Lord, from the leaders, Lord, oh God, of our city and of our nation, Lord, turn, oh God, begin to turn the heart of everyone, those in authority, those in power, Lord, begin to turn, Lord, turn the hearts of our pastors, Lord, our leaders, the way you touch the heart of Ezekiah, and Lord, oh God, he turned to you. The Bible says there was no other king that sought his face to seek you, and Lord, oh God, to do the work of your house, to to restore your house, to cleanse all of the trash and evil, Father Lord, that the kings before him had done. Lord, he didn't care. He wanted you to be worshipped again as you, deserve, as you deserve to be worshipped. Lord, turn, oh God. Turn the heart of the city, turn the heart of this nation back to you, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father and our God, in verse 18, he says, For a majority of the people, many of them from Ephraim, Manasseh, Issachar, and Zebulon, had not cleansed themselves, yet they ate the Passover otherwise than as prescribed. For Ezekiah had prayed for them, saying, May the good Lord pardon everyone whose heart who, who sets his heart to seek the God, the Lord God of his fathers, even though not according to the sanctuary rules of cleanliness. And the Lord heard Ezekiah and healed the people. And the people of Israel were present at Jerusalem. They kept the feast. Father Lord, you put aside the law. Lord, even in the time of law, you set aside law. Oh God, and you allowed mercy and grace to prevail and to take precedence because you wanted the heart of the people back to you. Oh God, Lord, we ask for the same today, oh God, in our city, in our state, and in this nation. Lord, set aside laws. Set aside, oh God, denominational differences. Set aside religion. Oh God, and turn the heart of this nation back to you again. Lord, we, we as you heard Ezekiah, Lord, we are crying in these 21 days. Hear our cry and turn Turn again, turn, Lord, both kings, both priests, Lord, every man, every woman, Lord, those in authority, those in the White House, those in Congress, those in the Supreme Court, those in the governor's lodges.
the mayor's offices, everyone to the least. Lord, turn. Turn, Lord. It didn't take you much to do it, oh God. Lord, do it, oh God. You did it for Hezekiah. Lord, do it, oh God. We need you. We are desperate for you. Our faces are set like a flint, oh God. And Lord, we have made up our minds. We will not let you go. Until, Lord, you turn us to you again. Lord, you set aside the law. Those that were clean, those that were unclean, you drew all to you. In this season, oh God, our Father, Lord, oh God, oh God, Lord, set aside every excuse. And Lord, turn, turn everyone to you. Turn our families, turn the politicians, Lord, because they need you too. Turn our leaders, oh God. Turn the media, oh God. Turn the media, Father. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy on the media, Lord. Let your mercy prevail on their behalf. And turn them, oh God. Turn them, oh God. And turn this nation back to you. Let it start from the head. Let it start from our president, oh God. Let it start from the White House and let it flow down. Let it flow down to Congress. Let it flow down to the Supreme Court. Father, Lord, let it flow down to the states. Oh God, do it, Lord. You had Ezekiah and you healed the people. Lord, and you turned the heart of a nation. Father Lord, that has gone so far away from you. You brought them back to you again. Lord, the Bible says, oh God, and their voice was heard. In verse 27, the priests and the Levites arose and blessed the people. And their voice was heard. And their prayer came to his holy habitation in heaven. Lord, let the prayer that we've been praying, Lord, since the first day, oh God, that we set aside to seek you as a people, as a city, let our prayer, let our cry come up to you in your holy habitation. Let it come up unto you, Lord. We beseech you, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, Lord, your word says, oh God, that Lord, by your mighty outstretched hand, you gave an entire nation one heart. One heart. Lord, only you can do that. Only you, no program can teach that kind of unity. Lord, no, no preaching can bring about that kind of unity. Precious Lord, you did it by your Holy Spirit. Therefore, Lord, we call unto you again that what you did, because there is no secret what you can do, what you did, oh God, in the time of Ezekiah. He says, and the hand of God was also on Judah to give them one heart. Oh God, give our city, give your church in our city, give your church in West Houston one heart. Father Lord, one heart, oh God, to turn to you. One heart, oh God, Lord, to know that we need you. That we are desperate for you. That we can do nothing without you. Lord, oh God, one heart to return to you. One heart to begin to seek revival. One heart to begin to hunger for you. Lord God Almighty, we are asking, oh God, merciful and gracious God, that you will even begin it this Sunday. 
Lord, that in every congregation, you will begin by your mighty outstretched hand upon every congregation that you will begin to knit hearts together. Father, Lord, to pray and to seek your face so that revival will come to our city. So that revival will come to our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. That there may be great joy in our city again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, do a walk, oh God. Do a walk, Father. Do a walk that will bring glory and honor. The Bible said that there has not been since King David, there has not been a until Ezekiah. Father, do it, oh God. Do it in this season. Do it, Lord. Do it in this season that we are in. Lord, for your name's sake, do it, oh God. Do it, Father, we beseech you. Father, Lord, oh God. Help us, Father Lord, as you give us this one heart to bear with one another in love. Lord, oh God Almighty, that everyone will be eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Because there is one body and one Spirit. Lord, we don't have two Holy Spirits. We have one Father one Savior, one Mediator, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father. And you are above all in all. Oh God, give every one of us grace. Lord, you did not touch, just touch Hezekiah. Lord, you touched the priests and the princes. Lord God Almighty, you touch all the priests the priests, so that those in Ephraim, in 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 in, in and in Israel, the, the northern kingdom, all came to Judah because they heard what you were doing in Judah, in the southern kingdom, and they all came. You had touched their heart. They were in Israel, but you touched their heart, and the priest and the princess, and they all came to Jerusalem. Lord, do it again. Take away the things, oh God, that separate us in your church. Father, Lord, we can pray for renewal and for restoration. And Lord God, Lord, oh God, transformation in our communities. But revival must begin first in your church. Lord, by your hand, you touch the heart of the priest. And they became one. Touch the heart of every pastor. Lord, that they will know, oh God, that revival is what is needed for the church to grow and for the name of the Lord to be exalted in our city. Touch the heart of the pastors. And Lord, touch the hearts of our community leaders. And Lord, then every member of every community, of every congregation. Touch the heart of your people, Father. Help us to know, oh God, that revival is what we need right now. Let there come a stirring up in every heart. Let there come a hunger, a need. Let every congregation begin to cry out for revival. Lord, when that one cry reaches your, your holy habitation, Lord, we know we are persuaded. Father, Lord, that, Lord, your fire will fall upon our city. Lord, we thank you. Our confidence is that if you've done it before, you will do it again. You did it before, Lord, and there is no secret what you can do. Lord, do it again. That your name will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Father, we thank you as we round up this session, Lord God. We thank you for, indeed, you have been our help. We thank you for the spirit of intercession and of supplication in this place. Lord, we thank you for your Holy Spirit that has helped us and is helping us. I thank you for the cry in your heart, O oh God, that is being released even in this atmosphere. I thank you, Lord God, because when we call upon you, you hear us. According to Jeremiah 33 verse 3, you are the one that says, call unto me and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. Lord, we thank you for the grace to come. We thank you for the grace to intercede. We thank you for the grace to call on you. We thank you because you hear us always. Our Father and our God, we thank you because, Lord God, you are the one that is tearing our hearts because you are walking a walk in our city. You are doing a walk in your city, in our city. Because there is a place that you are taking the city. There is a place, oh God, that you are leading the city. There is something, Lord God, that you are walking to bring to pass in the city. And we thank you, Lord God, for the stirring of the hearts of the church in the city, oh God. To bring to pass your kingdom agenda and your plan and your purposes. We thank you, Father. We thank you, we thank you. And Father, Lord, as we continue to pray, Lord, we bring it for the, the theme tonight is healing. Healing for the city, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, because indeed we are a people that are called by your name. And I thank you because, Lord God, you are the one that is teaching us, Lord God, what it means to turn from our wicked ways and turn unto you. Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will walk in these things. It will not just be prayers. It will not just be the words that we come to speak to you about, but that it will become our realities. Father, we pray, O oh God, that we will walk in the realities of these prayers. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, the time has come, O oh God, for the church to arise. And to be healed of our lameness. Oh God, heal us of our lameness. Because Lord, the church, we are lame. Lord, we pray, we speak, we prophesy, we say all these things, but we do not walk in this. Therefore, Lord, we pray that Lord, you will cause us to work. Because that Ephesians 4 from, you know, verse 1 says that we should walk worthy of our calling. Father, we pray, heal our lameness. Heal our lameness, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, heal the church. Heal us, O oh God. You say faith without works is dead. Father, we refuse to walk, uh, we refuse to be a people 
that are not walking in the things that you are saying. Lord, heal our lameness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, oh God, we pray that we will truly know what it means to be humble, to be humble before you. In reality, teach us, oh God, take us to that place, oh God, where we understand what it means to humble ourselves before you, to turn from our wicked ways, to walk in the light, oh God, of true repentance, oh God, that healing will come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that you will heal us indeed. Heal every heart that is broken right now in the city. And the pathway, you were saying the pathway to healing is repentance. Is turning away from our wicked ways and turning unto you, O oh God. You are saying the pathway to healing is brokenness. The pathway to healing, O oh God, is humility. When we humble ourselves before you, when we align our lives with your word, when we agree with what you are saying, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, do it, O oh God. Do it for us, O oh God. We want to be a people that are obedient. We want to be a people, O oh God, that, that walk in the light of what you're saying, O oh God. That healing might come to us. That true healing might come to us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, because there's no point for us to be praying and we are not walking in the sins. We are not obedient to your word, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we receive the spirit of obedience. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will be healed. We will be healed. The church will be healed. It is time for the church to rise up, O oh God, and that we will walk in true repentance. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, your word says, if any man is in Christ, according to the book, O oh Lord God, of 2 Corinthians 5, 7, you said, if any man is in Christ, he is, a, is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Oh God, let all things pass away. Oh God, our old ways of life, our old ways of doing stuff, let it pass away indeed. Let us be new creature in Christ Jesus indeed. Oh God, oh God, oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the church will be the church. We will be new creatures in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will work in obedience. In the name of Jesus, that our old ways of life will truly pass away. That we will know true repentance, oh God. Turning away and turning unto you. Turning away from sin. Turning away from unrighteousness. Turning away from division. Turning away, oh God, from all those things, oh God, that is not allowing for healing to come. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the church truly we will experience the healing, the healing of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ, that marriages will be healed, O oh God. 
where there is forgiveness, where there is turning away, oh God. Where there is unforgiveness, we're turning away. We are forgiving each other that there might be healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, that there will come healing, oh God. Oh God, in our physical bodies, Lord God, the church, we your people, O oh God, call by your name, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, we need healing. We need spiritual healing. We need emotional healing. We need physical healing, O oh God. And Jesus, you are the healer. You are the healer. You are able to heal us, but Lord, we have not positioned ourselves to receive the healing. Therefore, we cry out, O oh God, that Lord, we will position ourselves, O oh God, that we might be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the grace, O oh God. Your grace, O oh God, is sufficient, O oh God, even for your church at this time, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, Lord God, that this 21 days, O oh God, our Lord God will count for something in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, at the end of this 21 days, O oh God, the city of Katy, the church will not be the same, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, that healing indeed would have come to your people. That indeed we will have received our healings. In the name of the Lord Jesus, at the end of this 21 days, O oh God, that the church in the city, O oh God, will have a reason that indeed... We will be the church that Christ died for in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A church full of the Holy Ghost. A church full of power. A church full of love and compassion. A church that is bearing the light of God everywhere they go. In the name of Jesus Christ. At the end of this 21 days, oh God, Lord, the church of Katy, oh God, will be militant and strong, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that the glory of the Lord will be seen upon your people, oh God. In the name of Jesus, and the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover the whole earth as the water covers the sea. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are confident, oh God. We are confident in this, in this thing that you, the Lord, that has started this work in us, you are faithful to complete it. You are faithful to bring to pass your kingdom agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, therefore, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. It is all about you and your kingdom, O oh God. It is about you, Jesus. It is not about any man. It is not about any denomination. It is not about any person. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you, O oh God. We exist for you, O oh God. You, have, you are not existing for us, O oh God. We exist for you, O oh God. And that is why, O oh God, as a city, O oh God, we are crying, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in this city, in this nation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be glorified, Lord. Be glorified, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. As the next group comes, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you will continue. You will fill every vessel. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, 
that the spirit of intercession, O oh God, the spirit, O oh God, of intercession, O oh God, will continue in this in this place, O oh God. And after we leave, as we go to our individual homes, Lord God, that spirit will continue with us. Will we continue to intercede and supplicate, O oh God, Lord God, for your kingdom agenda, for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done. In the name of Jesus, let it not end in this room. Let it not end with the 21 days. Let it be a lifestyle in the church of God, in the city, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory and all the adoration. Thank you for helping us. Thank you because you will continually help your body to seek you according to due order, to seek your face, O oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Blessed be your name, O oh God. It is unto you, O oh God, we bow our knees. Unto you be glory and honor and majesty and power and dominion, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. To you, O oh God, alone, who lives forever and ever, it is unto you, O oh God, we give all the glory and all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, O oh God, we have prayed. Amen.